Have you ever thought about starting a blog? There is no better time than right now. Hello, I am Pixel Pia, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about blogging and about the four W's when it comes to blogging. The who, what, why, and where. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let's start with a little background. In 1994, it became very popular to put up a personal diary on the web. I know I had one, and this online journaling soon developed to what today is called a blog, and blog is a shortening of the term web blog. A blog is, in short, an online journal where you publish in reversed chronological order so the newest content comes first. It is also a place where your readers can of very often respond to what you are writing by writing a comment. So who is a blogger? Well, almost anybody can write a blog. You can write a blog to share your knowledge or your interest or you can blog because you have a business or you're blogging as part of your personal branding everybody has a story to tell and blogging is an easy and excellent way to share your story but what is the difference between a blog and a regular website and what can i blog about <music> Let's first take a look at the structure of a blog and then we will talk about content. Up here you will see a model that most bloggers are following when it comes to the layout of a blog. You have the header, which usually includes a menu or a navigation. The main content is where you either highlight some blogs or present the latest blog. In the sidebar, you have information like social profiles, favorite content, call to action, calendar, and tags, and etc. And in the footer, you have important links like disclaimers, privacy, cookies, contacts, and so forth. So what is the difference between a blog and a static website? Well, the most obvious is the frequency. A blog is usually updated weekly, if not daily. And in a blog, you as a reader can usually respond by writing a comment. While a regular static website usually looks the same every time you visit. A blog constantly changes. But today, many static websites has included a blog part in their website. And let's talk about content, the what to blog about. There are blogs about almost anything. And if you are thinking about starting a blog, it's a good idea to start with something you are really passionate about. According to wpbeginner.com, the most common blogs are and this is in no particular order. Fashion, food, travel, music, lifestyle, fitness, DIY, sports, finance, political, parenting, business, personal blogs, movies, cars, news, pets, and gaming. So if you are really interested in, in starting a blog, think about your life and what you're interested in and pick something that you think you can write about on a weekly or daily basis for a very long time without running out of material. So why should you have a blog? There are so many reasons why you can start a blog, but these are some of the most common ones, and once again, they are in no particular order. 
By writing a blog, you can gain confidence. You are in complete control of what you are publishing. It is a great writing experience where you get response from your readers. You can start a blog as a creative outlet. Or maybe you have a message that you want to spread and attract an audience for. The blog can also create opportunities. Or maybe you have a story to tell. You can even blog to make money. If you are successful, you can monetize your blog. Or maybe you're building your personal brand in combination with social media. And you can blog to network with other people in your branch or industry. So now there is only one W left to talk about, and that is where. But for that you have to wait till my next video comes out on Wednesday, where I will present to you some free and some paid places where you can put your blog. I will also show how you set up your blog and some of the things you need to be aware of to maintain and grow your blog. I hope you liked this video and that you will come back for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notified when I upload. And don't forget, never stop learning. Goodbye.